Now, if you're somebody that takes their privacy very seriously, especially when you are streaming or maybe torrenting, then I'm pretty sure you've heard of the application VPN Safety Dot. I think I saw Freetech do a video on this when this first came out. A very, very popular application and a lot of people do use it. Somebody actually tweeted me um, a few days ago to mention that they've now changed the model, the pricing model for this. Previously, this was a completely free application. You could download this onto your Fire Stick, onto your Android TV devices and go ahead and enjoy those features. However, they've now changed the pricing model and they've actually made this into a subscription based application. So not crazy pricing, but to go from a free application to around about $23 a year, you can imagine lots of people were very angry, especially because there wasn't really any advanced notification. Their free application just stopped working. I'm trying to film during the fireworks, so please bear with me. But if I turn this on, now we can see on the top right, we have a red indicator because my Fire Stick is not running a VPN at the moment. Now, because of this new subscription model, really for me to continue using this, they do want you to sign up to that plan. Now, is there a new free alternative? Well, in this video today, let me show you a completely free alternative, which does pretty much the same thing as this application does, but it's completely free, works great on your Fire Stick, on your Android TV, the application is only around about two kilobits in size, whereas this application is over 25 megs. So super slick, super lean, absolutely free, works on all of those devices. And I can't believe I'm shouting over a firework display, but please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so the new application is called vpn monitor dot the premium application is called vpn safety dot so fairly similar names but the key thing is this application absolutely free no adverts no subscriptions and let's see if it actually works and gives us that privacy and can confirm whether we're using a VPN or not. So let's start the application. Okay, so we can see some history about the application here. So it says here that because the other guy got greedy, suddenly disabled everyone's free copy and now wants a monthly service. I mean, those kind of actions, you can imagine lots of people will be angry. It's different if they were given some advance warning or maybe when they signed up initially, they were told that this is going to be free for the next three months. And once we've now established our company, we then need to recuperate some of those costs and we'll then start charging money. So if that was said initially, then that would set those expectations and people would not really have any reason to complain. But unfortunately, it didn't work like that. People's free copy just stopped working. Now we can see this developer is asking for donations, completely optional, but once he does get to 100 donations, he will then add some extra features, including the ability to auto run on boot up and also adjusting some of those colors and brightnesses. So, so if you are somebody that will find this application useful, then definitely do consider donating a couple of dollars. It's a one off thing and that way you can get access to these new features and also help support the developer. OK, so we can see some of the notes there. That's fine. And he did ask that, please do not distribute this APK file, so which is why I haven't put it on my website, but I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get this on all of your Android TV and also Amazon devices. Okay, let's click on start. Okay, so the monitor service is now started and we can now see that flashing red square in the top right. So this just confirms that my device is unprotected. My VPN is not active. And it means, for example, my ISP could potentially see what I'm doing. Let's click on OK. I'm now back on the home screen. Now, if I try uh, IP Vanish, my preferred VPN, let's click on that. We can see at the moment the thing is still flashing red. And let's click on Connect. We can see in a couple of seconds, IP Vanish is now connected. I have a new IP address and we can see that the VPN monitor dot is now green. So this confirms that my device is fully protected. All traffic is being encrypted and my public IP address has now changed. So if I now press the home key. So now it doesn't matter which application I'm using. 
if I'm going to start my favorite streaming application or start Netflix or a third party application. None of that will make a difference. If I just try YouTube for a second, we can see I'm inside the application. And because I can see the blinking green dot in the top right, it just confirms that my VPN is still active. Now, if for whatever reason, if IPVanish crashes in the background, or as you can imagine, these devices don't have much memory, if something happens that causes the application to quit, then that square will quickly go red and that will tell me straight away my VPN is not running anymore and I need to go back and quickly start it or do something else. So that kind of visible notification that you can see wherever you are in whichever application, is your VPN running or not, really is a fantastic feature and it shows why the original application was very, very popular, typically with streamers. Let's press home. Now for a quick test, if I just turn that off, go back into IPVanish, and if I just click on disconnect, and we can see straight away on the top right now, we have a red square. So just confirming that my VPN is now disconnected and it's not local to just IPVanish. VPN monitor dot does not care which VPN you're using, IPVanish, Express or anything else. As soon as I click on connect, we can see on the top right, we see that green square. So super easy, does exactly what it's supposed to do. But the key thing is the application is absolutely free no subscription needed, works great on your Android TVs, on your Fire Sticks, and it quickly gives you that visible notification on the state of your VPN. And again, if you are somebody that really cares about your privacy and you really don't want to do anything on your device until your VPN is up and running, I do recommend checking out this free application. So let me now show you. How So let me now show you how you can get this on all of your Android TV and your Amazon devices. I press the home button. Inside downloader, we can type in a special code, which is just 168731. And this will take you directly to the developer's page. Now when you get to the site, you can see the information there again. Just talking about why you decided to make it. Some more information. Let's keep scrolling down. And we now have this blue link here for us to click on. So let's click on that. And this will download the application. And you can see guys, I don't know if you saw, but it's only 200 KB in size. So not even half a meg. So really does great things compared to the other application, the premium one, which is over 25 meg in size. So, and we now see the VPN monitor dot on the top right. So great application does exactly what it's supposed to do. And of course, it is 100% free. And talking about VPNs, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypevanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. So please do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this new application. Are you happy with it? Or are you somebody that's going to pay for the original application? Do leave me a comment below, let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.